very good friend, Mr. Claston Bernard. Thanks for being here, Claston. Thank you very much for having me, as always. always. It's been a while. but It has been a while. Yes, it has been. See the movie Oppenheimer? Uh, it started to. Yeah. Started, but that haven't. shows how many communists were involved in uh, a lot of our scientific stuff, and period. Wasn't it McCarthy era? Wasn't yes. that something about communism, too? Mm -hmm. And there's still a lot of communists here. Let's not forget who the Democrats were, and I'm not calling Democrats communists at all, but back in the Civil War, the Klan were the Democrats. Talk about open borders. Uh, Ukraine is building a border wall. Guess who's funding it? I wonder who. I wonder who's farming well, it. Well, America, Russia has a border wall. They have two. Yeah. They have one at Norway and one at the south of the border that they're building mm -hmm. right now. Dominican Republic, people don't know, is on the other side of Haiti. They're building a wall right now. They don't want the Haitians coming over there. Any sane country builds a wall and it does help. Egypt, it's part of Egypt your, has a wall. Egypt has a wall. Um, uh, who else? Israel and Gaza, they're building a wall. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's so many places that are building. The Great Wall of China, hey, Chinese, the communists did it first. Well, they weren't communists then. Yeah. But uh, so people, all they did, stopping Donald Trump, prohibiting, but he still found a way to start that wall and build most of it. It's a woman's right. <laughs> yeah. No one has a right to do what is wrong. That's and murder true. is wrong. So to say that a woman has a right to do what is wrong. We're going to agree to disagree on this. <laughs> because <laughs> because I, I agree to the 15 week point, but I don't believe because uh, you can't live outside the womb before. But anyway. No, uh, but, but I'm going to make one but, point but, to but, that. But Kamala, I will say this our president, Catholic, and Vice President Kamala Harris believes in late term abortion until the seventh, eighth, and ninth month. When you might as well have the baby and let somebody adopt it because it's seven yeah. months anyway, it can live without the mother. Well, well, but think about this though. If there's a pregnancy mm -hmm. and nothing happens, in nine months a baby's gonna come up. Mm -hmm. Hopefully, yeah. yeah. In nine months, nine, not 15 yeah, weeks, yeah, but yeah. within, so if it's if uninterrupted, it's going to come to full fruition. And so th that's the thing. We have to have honest conversations. And the reality is, you know, we have to go about and show how 
that will eventually destroy this country, like what Lincoln was saying well, to Frederick. Well, look what happened with Planned Parenthood. What did they put all the Planned Parenthoods? And everybody knows and Margaret yeah. Sanger, if you don't mm -hmm. know, you should. She was a, a communist and a eugenist, mm -hmm. and she wanted to kill all black babies. Half of the 65 million whites. have been killed since Planned Parenthood are black. Mm -hmm. We would be doubled our population if it wasn't for Hillary Clinton's friend, Margaret Sanger. So, um, you know, the abortion centers cater to the black community and to the minority community. And, and, and again, I hear black people saying, uh, some of them say, black power, we need more representation. Well, 65. <laughs> so 21 million dead black babies, and you're saying that, it's, it's, let's keep killing them. Let's keep destroying them. There was a, a but number. But not just on that issue. You know, I'm very disappointed what Martin Luther King fought for, for black representation. We've got it all over the place now. We're 13% of the population. Uh, you know, when you look at the Democrats and, and, some, and the Republicans, you add up, all, I'm talking in the cities, Shreveport, Baton Rouge, New Orleans, uh, New Orleans and so, my little hometown, Bastrop. I mean, I would say over 70, 60, 70% of the cities and small towns in this state are run by black people. Mm -hmm. And that's all over the country. Yes. Oh, the major cities. Okay, over in Houston, you have, a, I think, he, he's got proclivities, you know, he's a, he's a yeah. black man, mm -hmm. but um, I've heard, I don't know him, but, uh, uh, and then you've got uh, San Francisco, black woman. Mm -hmm. You've got Baltimore was a black woman. You've got D.C., black woman. You've got New York, black man who used to be a Republican who changed to be a Democrat. He was the uh, police well, commissioner chief, yeah. mm -hmm. of in Brooklyn. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, so when you look at this country, most of the big cities are controlled and run by black people. But I will ask you to go back to the hood. Like, what's our friend who went back to the hood when she was running in John Lewis's district? Um, uh, the, the lady. I know, I know you who know you're what I'm talking about. about. Mm -hmm. okay. uh, she went over there in the Red Hills and walked through the, um, the, the Kim district. Kim Clasic. Yeah, yeah, Kim. Yeah, that, mm -hmm. I took a picture yes, of her at your fundraiser. Yes. And, um, and walked through and showed. We got rats in here. Do we live better than we used to in the hood, you all? I think there's a percentage. Of course, a lot of us quote, made it, we got out of the hood, but we left the others behind, too. Well, that's because the black leadership, whether it's in the or church, lack thereof. they are communists <laughs> in their, in their, their, they are more, they lead more communists and socialists, so they don't really care about the masses. The masses is just, just a, a, it's just a, um, it's just preacher a step day. to get, hey, hey it's preacher day. <laughs> yes, <laughs> the masses is seen to, is, this is my stepping stool to get the power that I need, and then they sell the color. It's my color, it's my color. And the do thing you know is, Silky Slim? Hmm? Do you know Silky? No. I did a show with Silky years ago, and uh, I had a, a black minister on here, too. I thought they were going to fight, because of uh, Silky, and, and I agree with you definitely on most things we agree with except that other issue. But, um, and Silky and him got into it. Mm -hmm. That the black, I asked a black minister one day, why don't you all band together and help clean up the hood? Let these black boys know somebody does care about them. If you see the movie Freedom Writing, W-R-I-T-I-N-G, have you ever seen that? Mm -mm. About Hillary Swank is a star. She's a teacher. In it's a true story. Long Beach. Hmm. And she Maybe. goes into Long you Beach. And um, it's the worst school in, in the state of California. And But they got the hand-me-down books. Everything they got was hand-me-down. She started taking her own money, buying stuff for these children. She took them to the Holocaust Museum, made them see we're not alone. And, uh, that's, and a lot of them graduated because of what she did, this young white woman. She played, uh, you know, a little pearl-wearing white woman in the worst worst place in the hood. Well, you know, she cared about the kids. I, you know, like, um, one of the things, and I, I, I don't make any bones with this, um, the first thing you hear, a position become open. We need to put a black woman there. I hate to. Uh, you know, that's that. So what? The black man well, is incapable of leading now. The, that's the, right. the black well, man they, is not they're conservative. They're trying to usurp you. Yeah. So uh, men, period, and period, yes. white people. It's a bad thing not <laughs> to be white in America. Lord have mercy, the way they do white people, right? Yes. You got to put a black woman in this job. You're not many black men. And, and, and that's what well, the, the, the black man did. The black man has to be castrated. They'll put a black man in, in position of power, especially in, in, in Democrats' area, if he's castrated. Right. You know, that's the kind of black man they like. They, they, Let they me like, tell you, if I got to have surgery, and I, at one time I did when I was a branch manager for IBM in Hartford, Connecticut, I said, tell me who the best anesthesiologist is in this hospital. And that's who I got. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know? Yeah. And, and I don't care if you... A dwarf or a giant, black, white, red, or green, if you're from Mars, if you are the best at doing something, if it's brain surgery, any surgery. But why do we not want the best to be the vice president or to be on the Supreme Court when Katanji Brown two days ago said, 
the First Amendment is stifling the ability to do something. Yeah, you're supposed to go yeah, by yeah, the First should be Amendment. Able to, yes. So what does she feel about the Second Amendment? If she feels oh, that she, way... She doesn't believe in guns. So, she, believe in it. So, she believes in abortion until the, uh, the ninth month. I, I hear it all the time, you need a black woman for this. So does she believe in family as being the, the, right. the benchmark of, of right. a, a strong society? Does she believe that the husband is supposed to be the leader in the household right. and the provider, not right. just the, the leader, but the provider? Right. Does she believe that we should have a right to, to be armed? And, and be able to use deadly force to protect our family. Does she believe that business should not be taxed into into um, bankruptcy? Yeah. Do, do they believe in all of that? Or right. do they believe in trying to get their fair share of uh, what we're supposed to do? What, what what exactly are they bringing to the table? What are they bringing? Just being a, being a black woman? What does it, you still have a you heart? Don't have to, and you know what? Uh, it makes, because people are going to realize you're incompetent to do the job mm -hmm. if it's just because you're black mm -hmm. and a woman. Mm -hmm. And so it makes the rest of what they're doing is really degrading, de degrading the black people. When you put an incapable person into a job mm -hmm. that people can see they're incapable and it's a black woman, what do people say? She's stupid anyway. Mm -hmm. it, it, but it's kind of like the Democrats right now with Joe Biden. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm Even talking though he's about. right. It's, it's like, like they know, yeah, yeah, uh -huh. yeah, they're like, you keep putting, because the Democrat Party likes eunuchs. They like eunuchs. They like, you know, but it doesn't mean they're not capable of doing untold evil mm -hmm. because they have to use force because they don't believe in the, that people are able to self-govern and people that consent to be governed now should now become relegated to what the government, who is the God, is saying. So, Do you so, think we're going to get out of this, Glaston? It, by doing what we're doing, by speaking out against it. Um, we, but, you know, as you know, uh, still 5 or 6% of black women are conservative. 45% of black men now. And they love, they even got some called blacks in the hood for Trump. They say they treating Trump like us. They, they taking his money, throwing him in jail, indicting him all over the place because this is what they do in communist countries. This mm -hmm. is what they do all over the world. Please, people, start looking at what's really going on in this country, this okay. state. We've got a great governor now who is going to take care of conservative values. And you know what? It's because most of this black people are conservative. Maybe not some of the young ones, but the old ones. You ask them, do you believe in abortion seven, eight, nine months? What are they going to tell you? No, I don't believe in killing babies. Do you believe in, in the Mexicans or whatever coming over, taking our jobs, just walking across the border? We let a million point two people in here legally a year. Mm -hmm. I had some people work for me in my health care. And they had to take a test. You should say it was so proud when they came yes. from being sworn in. Yes. And I pledge allegiance to the flag. They are taking away all of our ceremonial and everything. Hey, over in China, they got their ceremonies and they keep them. And their, and their policies. And like what Stalin said, if I get your kid, I take over the world. Yes. And that's why they're going for the kids. Because that's the next generation. Even if you look at when Obama got in office, had the first time had to be about 15, 16 years ago now, huh? Yeah, 2008. And so mm -hmm. those kids, when he put Common Core in and CRT, those kids now are starting getting ready to almost to graduate from school. Yes, right? well, Yuri Bezmov, the, the Russian who understood propaganda, he talked about the four stages of um, usurping, and these kids are at that age mm -hmm. where now they've been indoctrinated, fully indoctrinated, and now the next stage is to then go out there and, and, and Hamas start, does that to the uh, Gaza start, kids. Mm -hmm. they, they, Jewish people, you'll see them uh, with a, a blade, and they want to slash, they'll see a picture of a Jewish mm -hmm. person, slash. Why do we have to keep so much hate. I'm back to Rodney King. Why can't we all just get along? I don't understand and everybody do their own thing. There's another movie. Obama. I, you know, I'm a big Obama. Hum? Obama is one of the reasons. Yes. Well, he's well, the worst thing ever happened to this country. When you look at um, what has happened. As president. Black, black folks have had their history. But America was moving in the right direction. It was. Moving, you know, I, I used to go to church down here. At, well, um, I didn't believe in what Bush did when he went into Iraq Bush with a preemptive weak. war. I didn't believe in that. We, we don't need wars. A lot of no, wars. No, you remember are Bush went yeah. into Iraq with a yeah. preemptive war, yeah, so we, he was uh, uh, he destabled part of the Middle East because yes. Saddam Hussein, hey, crazy as he was, you need crazy sometimes. He mm -hmm. kept that region stable. They know their people, mm -hmm. they, and sadly, some of those people are now here because Did you see of what Joe Jed Biden. Bush? That's right. Did yes. Did you see what Jed Bush just said uh, about uh, Trump? About how these indictments are totally unfair to Trump, Jed Bush. I, you know, the, the thing is, 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 well, it's never too late for a shower of rain. But the reality is you don't have enough of them coming out and, and, no. and, and, and being forceful and pushing back. They're still different. Look at Bill Cassidy. 
Bill Cassidy was running with this whole bloodbath uh, argument. He the, was? Yes. This, this, is, this is our senator. The same one who voted, vote to voted impeach, impeach Trump. Yeah, Trump. He, he should have been him. thrown out the Republican right. Party then right. when he did that. Because one, there was no constitutional basis to impeach President Donald Trump. And he's, he, he's going again lockstep. I'm like, do you not have congressional aides that actually do the research and says, hey, let's hold up, hold up. All this right. is the context of what he All was you saying. All you got to do is hear the speech. Yeah. So, five minutes of it. Yeah. So these are the things that you have. The rep this is the problem. That's why I said the Democrats are not Republican problems. And people, and I will keep saying it. Mm -hmm. The problem are people like Bill Cassidy, who you know. But we I have still think the Democrats are a problem too because they can make the laws. They control the Senate. Yeah. Well, I think they, it's both. You, 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 I don't know how, how you Trump, separate them. Well, because what Paul Ryan did. The, if Paul Ryan didn't do what he did, Trump would not have been impeached either time. Paul Ryan, it started with Republicans. Oh, yeah, Paul Ryan. I remember him. He's executive so, at Fox now. Yeah, yeah. So, so Paul Ryan is the reason why yeah, we Gore. didn't get the, the wall. Paul Ryan is the reason why Trump presidency was not more successful. Paul Ryan is why those, those Russia, the Russians... He was very successful. People don't know. No, he, People he don't was. know what he did. No, he was very successful. But Paul Ryan is the reason some he of those things happened. More. Because he controlled he Congress. He would have that whole wall if the Democrats hadn't blocked him on everything no, he tried. That's Paul Ryan's fault, though. It's Nancy Pelosi, too. Nope. I blame Paul Ryan. If Paul Ryan did what but he was he supposed to. But he wasn't in the no. Senate or the House. No, he was a Speaker of the House. Before. Yes, yeah, when but Trump Nancy got elected. Nancy was the Speaker after him. Yeah, but Nancy would not have gotten in. You see, Paul Ryan and he, most of his people. He'd have to go to Fox. Yeah, but most of his people, you see, most of those weak, weak Republicans resigned when Trump came in. Because, but everybody again, knew Paul Ryan was not a good Yeah, so he's a, he's a reason. So if and we then you had John Wilson name up there crying. Uh, on the golf course with Obama. Oh. Remember the one before Paul yes. Ryan? Yes. So both of them were rhinos. Yeah, but yeah, um, Boehner. We, yeah, uh, Boehner. Uh, but but um, Paul Ryan is the reason. This, that's the reason why Trump presidency was humstrung. He is the reason why Nancy Pelosi and the Democrats... But well, Nancy Pelosi is so loud. Yeah, but, but even as wicked as she, as she is, mm -hmm. if Paul Ryan had done what he did, we probably have held on to the Congress. We would not be where we are. Republicans are the reason why we're oh, suffering in the Republican Congress. And here we have someone, actually, you look at the people that supported Trump in 2020 and the people who are moving in his direction. He's moving the country in the right direction. Right. But if the Republican leader, the sheep in the House and the Senate, and even Mitch McConnell and them, weren't so wishy-washy. Chuck Schumer, in fact, Netanyahu is speaking right now. They, they bought Netanyahu flew over here today to pick after what Chuck Schumer said, but he's only meeting with the Republicans. I think we've got a hell. I love Mike Johnson. I love Jim Jordan. I love James Comer. These guys we have now in the House, the Republicans are the best we've ever had that I know in my lifetime. And, and, and we uh, need more. We need more. We right. Need more we need people. more like them. People have got, we have got to keep the house because none of this would have come out about Joe Biden. Today they had an impeachment hearing. Did you see yes, that? Yes, I, I was listening yeah, to you. Yeah, yeah, you were listening. We talked about it. Yeah. And, uh, and, and I tell you what that guy said, the poor guy who had been raped. Did you hear the one who had been raped in prison <laughs> over and over? And he was, I mean, you've got <laughs> about five people who went to jail because of this. Yes. And they were Hunter Biden's partners. Mm -hmm. And Joe Biden met with them all the time. Got one guy said he flew somewhere at 1045 at night for a meeting with the Chinese oligarch and then with the Russian oligarch. Everything usually the top Repub Democrats say is projection. That we say that the Republicans are doing what Trump is doing. It's what they did. If Trump had stolen one dollar, they'd know it. Like all this mm -hmm. junk is four hundred and some million dollars. That's insane. Well, well, think about this though. You know, even with these herons, the Republicans continue. They need to be more effective when they're dealing with um, these questioning. They need to. They they need to be a little more forceful, and they need to stay on message. Too often they go in there with certain can message in our way uh -huh. and they're not realizing what the Democrats are doing they, because the Democrats are doing this for ABC, MSNBC oh, and yeah. all that. They, they are doing, they're trying to get sound bites and mm -hmm. yes, we're trying to stay logical and factual but those things don't get played and most people sadly don't listen and they don't watch like that stuff. with Trump, when he was in Charlotte and he said uh, they're all good people, what he had, remember when the girl got killed mm -hmm. and you had the yeah. skinheads over there? And what they played, what he first said was, I disavow the Klan, mm -hmm. I disavow uh, Black Lives Matter, that hate groups. I disavow all hate groups. There's no room for it in this country. But if you look at both sides, they're all good. there are some good people on both sides. Yes. And that's true. I've interviewed mothers whose sons have killed people. And mothers whose people, uh, you know, who the reverse. Mm -hmm. Their son got killed. But every one of those mothers said, I just don't know what happened to my son. Because they love their mother, 90% of them. And yeah. they treat their mother different than they do anybody else. So everybody's going to have somebody who thinks they're a good person. I don't mm -hmm. care if they're a mass murderer.
They really oh, do. But what it's I'm a sad reality. Um, but you, you go back to uh, there's most of these things where it started with the Russian hoax that yes. Hillary started. Hillary Clinton. It, 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 and you can go on. They now, like women so much they push Hillary out to put Obama in. <laughs> they like white women so much they wouldn't let her win. Yes. Because uh, they couldn't control her probably, I well, guess. Well, they I know what know. was coming. Well, what would have happened? We, we don't, you know, Joe Biden is just, you know. A puppet. Uh, you know, but that would have been, she would have been probably way worse than, well, I don't know if we can be any worse than I don't think she could be worse than Obama. Uh, yeah. she, she was running against Obama. Yeah. But, but they, they um, the things she have said, you know, even with re-education camp and stuff like that, right. uh, that that's frightening. They, they're that's in, they're what Obama's th doing. He, he just, Obama just tells you in snippets what he's going to do. I'm mm -hmm. going to take this country down to the fundamentals. You know, he'll mm -hmm. tell you. And, and Biden, in the debate with Bush, also said, they should come. Mm -hmm. He said that in the base. He said, we're going to open up the border. They should come. Are you people listening? Go back to the debate 2019 of with Joe Biden, 2020, whatever year it was. With Trump, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, with Trump, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. I think it was 2020, right? They, yes. start, they did one in 19, too, I think. Didn't they do two? But anyway, yeah. uh, uh, go back, listen to that debate. And if you don't think Joe Biden told these people to come, he said it right he signaled, No, he signaled to the That's war. That's right. They Joe, come in with Biden T-shirts yes. on. They si no, he Paris. signaled. He said America was open. He said Yes, he it. said he it. Signaled. You should come. That's yes. exactly what he said. These people are free, freeing oppression. Well, down in the hood, they're, they're free, trying to free oppression also. Mm -hmm. And people are losing their livelihood who have paid their dues to this country are trying to free. Yeah. Oh, so can they, can you flee from the hood and go to Beverly Hills or go to um, they Silicon can. Valley? They can. Yeah. I want to go stay at the Waldorf uh, uh, for six hundred dollars a night. Enough. And let me tell you why that's happening. A guy who owned the Waldorf has stories from Pakistan. That's where my pillows are made. Yeah. Pakistan, you know, not main China. And um, the guy who owns that is a multi multi billionaire. Right now. He is making a billion dollars a month off two hotels he has in Manhattan. They get $64 a day to eat. I eat off 6 or $7 a day. How do these how uh, do, illegals... How do you, uh, not as an American citizen, are entitled to the rights and um, all the things that comes with being a citizen? That, we don't get that. Nobody gets that yeah, right. No, They're going to yeah. give a $1,000 well, well, uh, hotel yeah. room a night yes. But, and but you're, you're, you're taking, and, and the rights is that the money, our tax dollars, how is it that you can make an, a logical right. argument to support Democrats when they are blatantly, Joe Biden is willing to take this country to a civil war to continue to keep the ball open they are also I don't think he thinks it'll really be a civil war he just thinks he's his policies right. are going to destroy this country because he's you know they're bringing though. in the Congo people those big fine black guys from the Congo mm -hmm. have are coming in here no families mm -hmm. and they bought in 20,000 nationalists from China one nationalist doesn't leave China unless mm -hmm. they want you to leave they're building and, and there I saw um, something the other day where they're growing marijuana out in California mm -hmm. sending the money back to China they're putting them in strategic places Remember, they have police stations mm -hmm. here already so that this is not by chance this is what happened in Venezuela. But I will tell you, I believe Joe Biden will use force if he believes it's necessary. That's I think, remember, illegals can now have guns? Yes. He's going to give those people guns to control us because our police department ain't going to do it. They're not going to go against the American citizen. Well, in think. California, they are oh, allowing non-citizens. Oh, in California, non, they non do it. I'm talking about non-citizens. Yeah, non you know, that, that's la-la land. Yeah. I mean, it's just my aunt, and, and she's 80, one is 85 and one is 89. They love Donald Trump. Because they have lived through the demise of California, mm -hmm. one of the most beautiful places in the world. Yes, it still is. That now you go down the street. I was there about two years ago driving on the, uh, what is it, 405 or something, and nothing but camps uh, mm -hmm. along. We shouldn't be living like this. And this is our homeless people. Anybody they should be giving stuff to is the homeless people on the streets who were veterans, 65 to 70 percent of them. But I remember when I first started my show. Obama was in office. And that's one reason I started, because he made a comment, ISIS is a JV team. I said, is he crazy? ISIS ain't no JV team. But that, he made that comment. And then I, I did a lot of stuff with veterans. In Shreveport, there was a social worker, or MSW, who was keeping a tab on everybody, all the veterans who were dying because they couldn't get into the VA hospitals for two to three years. Mm -hmm. You know, Obama was on an open mic he didn't know one time, and he said, yeah, people over 65 need to die because most of the money is spent he's, after 65. He's getting, he's getting close to 65 right now, isn't he? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. But he got his own money, so he, you know. Yeah, he, not that he made his own money, but he mm -hmm. got his own money, right? Mm -hmm. And um, we did several shows. You know what? And, and I, was, I go to the whistleblowers conference, and Donald Trump, what he did, and I think they took it back because the veterans are having another problem dying mm -hmm. a lot again. Um, they took, you could go, let's say you were at a VA hospital in New Orleans, it was full, 
you can go to any hospital in New Orleans, mm -hmm. and the government would pay you back. Yes, that yes. It's gone now. Yes, it's, it's Trump gone started now. that. Yes, Trump started. Oh, so much Trump did. I re I did a show with Donna Britt. Mm -hmm. uh, she, he started something called, you know, she had ALS. She died. Mm -hmm. uh, that was one of the main. Mm -hmm. yes. uh, you know, she, oh yeah, here in yeah, Britain. pretty much. Yeah, and, yeah since I did they came a show with her when she was yes. in the wheelchair yes. and, and down at the station when when she had gotten uh, diagnosed. Anna did one in the house, but she, I don't know if she, we talked about it. I don't know if she ever did. He had a right to choose. Mm -hmm. If you have an experimental um, drug somewhere, it may not be tested, yes. but it's a hope that you may could live instead of knowing you're going to die. And that's gone to the right to choose. Yes. Donald Trump, I, I don't know how he did all that in three years with all the outcomes. I call it three years well, because the four of you was number the COVID mess. Well, when you spent years building the empire that he built, not he didn't just come up with like a Facebook or some right. kind of, he, he actually built Right. Business. He's a builder. He's a builder. He's able. So you have to have the ability you, to do that. So that's. You know, he tried to do the infrastructure. Nancy wouldn't let him. They wouldn't yeah. pass the bill with him. They passed it with Biden, and eighty percent of it is green energy going. The money going to China. That's Paul Ryan's fault, though. That's I, what, I blame yeah. Paul Ryan for all of that. That guy's a scumbag. Now she was the secretary. Of, I mean, the uh, head of the. Uh, when they did that green bill, she was. Yeah, but Paul but, was gone. No, no, but Paul Ryan is the reason why Trump suffered as much as he did and why America is and he should why be blamed. Why do you think it was only him? See, because I see as a speaker of the too. house he was. No I'm talking when she was speaker. No but he if he, he, had, if he had worked right. with Trump but his goal was to undermine oh, no, Trump. Yes, yes. So his and that's why Pelosi Trump. came in. That's how Pelosi came in right, because right, he right. undermined Trump and then left well, Trump to the, to the, the who hyenas. Who was he running with? Who was he running with? Oh my god he was running with Romney. That's yes, what, yeah, yes. Romney was running for president. At, look yeah. at the, and Romney's a Democrat. Right. Ron, Romney's his buddy with communist. He's his buddy with Chuck Schumer. They're really tight. Right. Look, so look at look at all of that stuff. You see how things play out. So these guys, mm -hmm. they're pretty much their whole goal was to protect the swamp. Yes. And to protect the swamp meaning you could not allow Trump to succeed. Well, he right. still succeeded. Because Trump was going to break through the swamp. And, uh, and the deep state. Really, the deep state yes. is the one they really, it's kind of all the same. Uh, but I don't think Trump or anybody had any belief that it was as thick and deep as the deep state really is. It is everybody. I mean, from the military to the congressional people to the senators. I mean, it, it's it's scary how many people have infiltrated uh, that we've elected mm -hmm. because people don't do any kind of background check on anybody. One reason I didn't vote for Obama when he ran for president. It was a good-looking guy <laughs> named Jack Ryan in Chicago was going to run white guy. And he he was a billionaire. He had made it on his own, and. Um, he um, was married to an actress. He had been in Wall Street, but he went back to go work in the hood. And uh, he and his wife, the actress, had a closed um, divorce. And they don't open. They, they they didn't open up Edward Kennedy's, did they? They opened up his because they knew it had. He he used to go to you know porno bars, which is nothing now. Mm -hmm. But twenty years ago, it was a big deal. And it should be a big deal. So well, it, it should, should, but I'm just saying deal. now it's not as bad like it was mm -hmm. then. And I don't know if it was Pono having sex thing, but just something like that. Mm -hmm. But at the end of the day, they shouldn't have opened up his. They never opened up anybody else's. No, no that's, that's, a, that's, a, that's, that's a, that's a, that's a, that's a seal. Yeah. seal. And so in he go, out he goes. Barack Obama steps in to take that Democratic spot in Chicago. Mm -hmm.